You know, this time of year is especially exciting for teenagers. It's also a time of added worry for parents, prom, graduation. One parent who's made it her mission to keep your kids safe is parenting expert MJ Corcoran. MJ, thank you so much for joining us this afternoon. Thank you for having me. So uh, let me ask you right off the gate. I, I guess this whole thing starts with communication, doesn't it? It certainly does. It's about having good, real conversations with your your student and your your teen. How do we and start really that? being honest with them? How do we start that? Well, it's never too early and it's never too late to start that conversation. And it's not just one conversation. It really is a process. That's why Family Talk About Drinking has created this program for parents and talking about when is when it's time, what to say, how to say it, and what questions to ask. Well, I guess the good news here is that underage drinking is on the decline, right? It is. The studies show that it is at an all-time low, and it also shows that parents are still the number one influence in determining if their underage, if their child is going to engage in underage drinking. Right. Now, MJ, you have helped design a program that helps guide parents through this discussion with, with their kids. It goes for kids of any age. Tell me about that. It does. Well, Anheuser-Busch started Family Talk About Drinking over 20 years ago. And about 2011, uh, they contacted me and wanted to refresh the program. Right. So when we looked at it, we realized that it's not just one conversation. It really is. It starts at the beginning when kids are young and they start to imitate their parents. That we start then and start teaching our children about the limits and the boundaries and what age they're supposed to be able to drink. And then we also move to that middle stage of where kids are about 8 to 14 years of age yeah. and they start questioning things. They say, why is it okay for them to do this and not us? And so each, what, each role of the parent is very specific to how do you talk to your kids at that age. And then the last really the last age is when we start to be more coach-like in our parenting and we start asking open-ended questions yeah. like what would you do in a situation if you were at a party and someone asked you if you wanted to drink how would you handle it what's your plan who would you call all those open-ended questions right. that cause your child to really think through the process so we want to instill that problem-solving ability okay so we know how to start the conversation now is there, can you start it too early? Can you start too young? Really, it's, it's never too early. And you look for those windows of opportunity. Like I've had four-year-olds that imitate their parents having a glass of wine. Wow. That's a perfect time for a parent to set down kind of the, the rules, the foundation of what's okay and what's not okay. What kind of uh, experiences have you seen? As far as what kind of tips can you give parents uh, right now that they can, sure. we can just go ahead and start immediately. The most important thing is for parents to get really clear about their own limits and their boundaries and what consequences they're going to set up with their child. Once they get that established, then it's time to really sit down and have a conversation. You look for opportunities to talk like prom and graduation right. and you have a conversation but listen clearly because a lot of times as parents we want to tell our kids what to do what not to do yeah. we want to check it off our list that we've done it right. this is a process and this is about really listening to our kids and asking some really direct questions so then how far should we take the conversation well i think we continue the conversation as the opportunities show up and how far we take it is really based on the relationship you have with your kids. Right. Once you have a good rapport with your children, even as teenagers, they will listen to you. They pretend like they don't hear you, <laughs> but really they watch you, they listen, they watch how you model your behavior. Right. So it's really important that we get clear about this topic. Parenting expert MJ Corcoran, thank you so much for spending some time with us this afternoon. Now, if you'd like to know more about what MJ had to say, all you have to do is go to our website, WBOC.com, and click on our picture at the top of the page. Now, drinking and driving is incredibly dangerous, but just how dangerous is distracted driving? Up next, we're going to see some scary dash cam footage that could have you putting down the distractions for good. Maybe it's your smartphone that's the distraction. We're also going to hear about something that cuts off your teen cell service while also helping to cut your teen's chance of an accident. Delmarva Life will be right back.